Naomi here, and this is, I'm going to call it Life Update. So it'll have my Way Wednesday kind of feel, but also just things going on in life. Um, I just thought I'd put it all together, and like I said, I'll try to do this at the beginning of the month, every month, um, and then maybe we'll go back to Way and Wednesdays, but um, just to kind of update you guys. So first off, let's just go into the diet. There is no diet right now. Um, Halloween, all that stuff. I've just been on a really bad, 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 bad uh, trail right now. So I'm going to try to switch that up here now that Halloween's over. There's no excuses. I need to definitely at least take the seven pounds I put on and get it off before Thanksgiving because as we all know, we put on weight during that time anyway. So. I at least need to, at the very least, take that off so that I have a fighting chance come the holiday season. But, um, so that's how that's going. Um, another thing that's going on is, I don't know, I think, I don't know if I actually talked about it in past vlog or not, but, um, about, I'd say, it's been about seven to eight years. I did Invisalign. And I spent about $7,000 on it, complete waste of money. Um, I have just, my teeth just have lots of issues. Um, first of all, we'll just talk about it all so that way you understand. Because a lot of people are like, well, your smile doesn't look so bad. But it really is um, deceiving to the eye. First of all, when I close my teeth, if you look, this tooth should line up with this one and it's actually over almost a full tooth. So I have that, I have almost like an underbite, so these teeth almost go in front of these teeth, and these teeth go straight down. And they should actually come out a little bit. And then on one of my sides, my canine goes forward and one goes behind. And then I also have something called, which I don't know, you can see, it looks like there's a space right here, but it's actually an ankylose tooth. So it's a small tooth, it never developed. And what happens is it becomes fused to the bone. So I don't have a root to it like everybody else does to their teeth. So it makes it um, not able to be moved with Invisalign. Now, when I went to Invisalign, this is when things were still kind of new. So I will at least say they've come a lot further with how they're doing it now. But, um, uh, and I'll get into it more. But anyway, I, it was, they put little nubs on all my teeth. There are these little brackets and they put rubber bands and they tried all the stuff in my teeth, just were not moving. I wore them for almost going on, it was almost five years. And I had my son and I was actually traveling to Bakersfield, which is two hours away from us because that's when I started it all, and then we ended up opening up our business up in Fresno County. And so it was becoming, uh, someone's texting me and it's popping up, sorry. Um, it was just becoming too much to have an infant. I was breastfeeding, it was just, it was becoming a nightmare to go back and forth constantly. And I finally, and it was like, they were kind of giving me the, the brush off, and I, he was getting ready to retire, the orthodontist that I was seeing. There was just so many components to it. And they really just kept pushing the Invisalign on me. And in reality, when it wasn't moving the way it should have, I, they should have put me in regular braces and then kept moving forward and it didn't happen. So I threw away basically $7,000 with everything after it was said that. I did get my wisdom teeth removed too, so that might've been also in the cost. I have it written down and that's the only reason why I know the the amount. So now we're to present time and my teeth, I keep having a problem with, it's my right front tooth because these teeth kind of go forward. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. My dog is barking at the door to come inside. One moment. Okay, so I'm back. We have an older dog, he's a senior dog, about 18 years old and we don't have a doggy door because we have too much wildlife around us that would be coming inside. So an 18 year old dog has to go in and out constantly all day long. It's a lot of 
a lot of work for senior dogs. But anyway, so back to my story. So because I have these teeth go straight down the front and these kind of want to go in the forward when I sleep, I hit my teeth up here. So that's why the, ch the tooth is, has chipped, but it's also every time I get the, basically it's a veneer front to it, it pops right back off because of the fact that my teeth are misaligned. I tried talking my dentist into just throwing on veneers on my face, but I do appreciate that he's not willing to just take my money and run, but um, he doesn't really like to take a natural tooth and put a fake tooth on it if it can at all be, if we can at all do it without, you know, he'd rather go the natural route. So. I told him I would go meet with this orthodontist and sit with him to hear what he had to say. And I went in with every intention of walking right back out and saying, no, I'm not doing it. Put, throw some caps on these bad boys and let's call it a day. Cause I just, I, I'm so turned off by braces. But I did talk to my orthodontist that I met with, which he was so knowledgeable and so great. One thing I will not suggest is going into a really high tech orthodontist because they put my teeth on this, you know, 60 inch screen television and like, I don't care how pretty your teeth are, I think they would look so nasty on there just because you're seeing every little dirt, yellow, anything on there. It was, it wasn't pretty. I, I, I was like, no, but, um, after him explaining everything, because also this side of my mouth doesn't touch down, so I chew more this side than this side, I need to change some things functionally um, in my mouth before it becomes a big problem in the future because I am getting a little bit of degeneration back here. Nothing serious like TMJ or anything like that, but something that can progressively get worse, worse if I don't um, make it to where my teeth are actually both connecting on both sides. And I'll eventually have to get a crown put on this tooth once I finish um, changing around my teeth. So my end, my end dream is that I'm going to straighten out the teeth and then still put veneers on my teeth. I've just never loved my teeth. I feel like they're shorter, that I wish they were longer. Now veneers aren't gonna get them longer. I actually have to go and remove some of my bone up here so that they can elongate my tooth. I'm still in arms about that. I don't know if I want to do all that. But he did say that I may not even want veneers if I do the braces and I have good results. I may decide I don't want to do the veneers, which, you know, fingers crossed, I don't because it's definitely the cheaper route to go and uh, not do the veneers and just really like the results of the braces. So, that being said, November 20th, I go in to get braces and I, I'm sitting here as an adult going, really, am I real? I already did this as an adult once with the Invisalign and right, actually I still had nubs on the little, I was going through Invisalign when I got married and I, I could see my wedding pictures, I could see the little like acrylic or whatever, it's a ceramic or whatever they're putting on your teeth so that they can pull on the teeth and I can see it in my pictures and I hate it. But um, I, we sat down and we talked about, you know, the clear braces versus the metal braces. And honestly, in my personal opinion, because I see so many kids at my son's school that are going through braces, I just don't think I want the clear braces because what happens with the clear braces, and again, this is just my own personal opinion, um, everyone's entitled to their own and I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you know, one way or another, but I feel like the, the clear look amazing when you first get them put on and then the next day, if you drink coffee or tea or soda or anything, mustard, I mean, there's so many things you can't have when you have the clear braces, that they look dingy. And I noticed when I look at the kids with the clear braces, it looks like they have junk on their teeth. It doesn't look like they have braces, but it looks like their teeth are dirty and they need to be brushed. So I just decided I'm gonna go full metal jacket and just do all 
brace face. I'm just going to go metal braces. They are a little bit smaller too, the metal braces versus the um, clear braces, which since I have smaller teeth, I think will be a little better as far as when they're moving my teeth to the, the clear ones are a little larger and there may be some issues with shifting. That's why typically when you see people with braces, they'll do clear here and then they do the metal at the bottom because they'll tend to rub, which will prevent teeth from moving um, the way they want them to. So I get them put on November 20th and I will be wearing them for the longest um, nine months. So that's doable. I, I said, you know, there's no way I was putting them on if I was wearing them for two years and stuff. And so they promised the longest, they said six to nine months, but they're saying nine just because they don't want to say six and then I get sad. So they're saying nine. And um, so I get to do that. And I think they're putting them on at like 7.45 in the morning, something crazy like that. So, um, so you'll be seeing in the near future, mouth full of braces and uh, I'll look like a teeny bopper, except with wrinkles. So I'm not looking forward to it, but you know, I will do some posts on it because um, if you're thinking about it, I can definitely give you comparisons from the Visalign to the braces since I have done, I'll, I will be doing both. I can kind of tell you what my experiences are with both of them in case you are debating or you have kids getting ready to and you're just not sure um, if you want to put the money into Invisalign or if you want to go with traditional braces. So um, look forward to that in the near future. What else is going on? My thank you for all the well wishes of uh, my mom. You know, she's doing better. Uh, they still haven't quite figured out what's causing all this. She's still having some issues there, um, but she's definitely changed her diet to see if that's changing it. She's finding a little bit more results because better results because she has changed her diet, but she still has some issues and I mean, the good thing is they've not found any colon cancer um, or any cancer in there, but they don't know why it's not working correctly through her colon and things like that. So I'll keep you posted if anything changes on that. Um, I just had teacher parent conference today and I'm super excited because my son got all straight A's, which he's had straight A's since kindergarten, but I don't know, there's a little bit more pride as they get older because their workload gets so much bigger. He's in the third grade and they are doing Common Core at my son's school. And that is a, if you have a child in school, there's a lot of pros and cons to that. I personally hate Common Core. I wish they never brought it around. Um, I think it'll be great for kids that are like in kindergarten because that's all they know. But when you've already taught your children one way of learning. It's really hard when there's so much to learn in third grade to also add all this on top of them. But um, I think that's why I'm, all, I'm really excited for him that he, you know, kept his grades up. And, you know, he is actually a really good kid and I'm really blessed to have him. I just, I, I joke around that I'm probably gonna have some juvenile delinquent when he's older, um, just because he's been such a good little boy but um it's it is very fun to and and it feels good as a parent when you sit down with the teacher and they tell you good things about your kid because of course we all think our children are angels and wonderful but when you hear it from someone else it's 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 nice to hear it feels warm in the heart and it lets you know you know you're not doing too bad of a job you're not screwing up their life too bad but um so that's what's going on in that area. And so, and not everyone's gonna agree with me on this one, but we did, uh, he actually saved his own money, but we said if he did get straight A's, we would allow him to purchase Call of Duty and his dad stood in line at 9.01 at Best Buy last night to get the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We do monitor it and we don't let him, um, we don't let him talk with the older people and stuff. We just let him play and he has to turn the volume off for the people that are talking um, because there's a lot of nastiness in there, but um, we do allow him to play it. We do discuss it a lot because there is a, a lot of violence and not everyone's gonna agree with me on allowing our nine-year-old to play that game because it is rated teen, I believe. It could even be mature, I'm not sure. 
but um, we do keep an open discussion about it. And, you know, if we see any changes in his behavior or anything like that, we have let him know very clearly that the game will be taken away. But, um, you know, it, it was our family choice. And like I said, not everyone's going to agree with it. But for right now, we're okay with it. So that's that. Um, we, how was your Halloween? Did you guys have a good time? We actually, normally we go crazy for Halloween. We decorate, we have a haunted house, we do everything, but our neighbors really wanted to do one and they have a bunch of teenagers. Um, they have three teenagers and boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff like that. So they did a haunted house at their home and they have like this really cool um, courtyard. So they have a front door and then you walk into their courtyard. We have a courtyard, but it's in the center of our house. Theirs is like to their house and so they used all of our decorations with their decorations and they made an amazing haunted house. So my son was a scary scarecrow and he was one of the kids that got to scare him. I took him trick or treating and he went to about four houses and he said, I don't want to trick or treat anymore, mom. I want to go back and scare kids. So I was a little sad because, I, I, you know, I like, you know, going to the houses with him and, you know, it's, he's not a real big candy kid. So I think... He was like, well, I'm having more fun scaring the kids. And he really did have a good time. So it was fun. I went over there and just kind of sat in a dark corner and just watched the kids scare, you know, the adults and kids that went through there. And it was really fun to watch. And so that's what we did. And then um, yesterday, I just, I didn't do anything. I was completely lazy and just laid in bed and I watched... Lots of Roseanne episodes on TV land and did absolutely nothing. Um, I just, I was not motivated. I just didn't want to do anything. But um, anyway, that's what's going on in my life. Not too exciting, but um, I thought I would let you guys know because eventually you guys are going to see me with some braces and go, wait, what? And um, I, you know, I, I, it'll be interesting also to see my videos and see my teeth change in the videos. And I hope that, you know, I see a noticeable change because I'll be going in, I believe weekly to tighten my braces where most people, I think they go once a month. I'll be doing it weekly because they're trying to do it so quickly and move the teeth, um, so quickly so that, um, we can hurry up and get to where I need to be so that I can do veneers or continue on with braces depending on how I feel at that moment. But anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.